All right, here it is. It's time to get down and dirty with D here and uh, give you a little tutorial on mapping your wheel to TechnoParrot using the TechnoParrot user interface on the Manhattan Project. Uh, first, we need to make sure again that the wheel is plugged in before you start to map. It will not work if you do not have that done. Here we go. So we're gonna press and press player one start and player two joystick up. It's gonna bring up our task taskbar. We're gonna go down to the bottom again and follow the red parrot. There it is, left click on that. It's gonna pull up our user interface. We're gonna scroll down and an easy one to map that I'm gonna to use today is gonna to be Batman. Here we go, Batman right here. We're gonna click into there. We're gonna go into game settings. Hopefully you can see all this. I have it set to direct input. I also, nothing checked, and I have medium low for the wheel sensitivity, and then the pedal sensitivity I have on medium. Then you're gonna go to save settings, and then it'll take you back here. We're gonna go to controller setup. Click controller setup. All right, nice and simple. Not a whole lot of stuff to map here. So you're gonna click whatever button you want on your steering wheel as the start button. Um, here's where we're gonna get a little crazy. So when you, so my setup, which Bauer has mentioned before, some like the plus and some like the minus. Mine likes the minus, meaning I have to press and hold down my either brake or gas pedal and select it. If I press down and go back up, it will actually reverse map it. So let's do that really quick. So as you can see right there, it says Y minus for my brake. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna press and hold down my brake. It's gonna go to Y minus again. Then I'm going to still keep holding down the brake and I'm going to go to fire. I'm gonna select fire. Now I can let off of that. And as you can see, it actually set my fire to the minus or the, the plus. So the upwards movement on my brake. So we don't want that, but I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna click that now and I'm gonna map my fire button to one of these here. And then we're gonna go down to uh, wheel axis. We'll click that. Doesn't matter if you go left or right, doesn't make a difference. Just it'll pick up the X, whichever direction you're going. Then we're gonna go down to gas. And like I had said, with the brake, you're gonna to have to press and hold down the gas for me. And then I need to choose something else. So I'll just go to fire button again and remap it. So I'll click on fire while I'm still holding down the gas. I'll let off the gas. So it still says Z minus, that's what I want. And now I will map my fire button again to what I want it to be, which is this upper button here. All right, hit save settings and you're good to go. All right, you guys, hope that helped.